Hey everybody, welcome to Ocala Garage, uh, Daytona Coupe build. Uh, so today I think I'm going to try to uh, install the lower control arms. I don't have upper control arms, these are the front lower control arms. I don't have the front upper control arms. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything for the rear, uh, upper or lower, um, or rear end. Or I do have rear brakes and rotors. Um, and I have front rotors, but no calipers. So we can get somewhere with things. Um, but I'm gonna try and get these, uh, these installed today. So we'll see. Uh, it already looks like there's gonna be slight complications and I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so here's the slight, the slight complication. So the rear, the fins are always a little, a little wider. So there's actually a shim that you put in, but the front fits in just nice and snug. But if you notice, I can't quite get the front in. It's a little bit too narrow right here, like this tab is bent in just slightly. So I think I might have a solution for that. So stand by, we're gonna try it out. All right, step one is to put in these little, little grease fittings on the bottom here. With a 5 16 wrench. So, this goes in, and we'll get Here, so this needs a washer. All right, that's taken quite a bit of finagling. That side in. What I'm having to do is just push down a little bit here. There. That was easy. There you go. First part being put on, first injury. All right. So you're supposed to keep this level and then torque it to 100 to 110 foot pounds. All right, that's that. So that is the basics of the quick 
Somewhat simple, maybe not so simple, installation of the lower control arm. I, my idea for how to bend out that one tab did not prove to be successful. So I will do a separate video showing you how to do the other side. The uh, driver's side went in fairly easily. You can see I had to kind of maneuver and wedge some things. Um, I'm thinking the passenger side is gonna be a little bit trickier. So stand by for that video. All right, well, slight correction. I did figure out a way to get it in. It just took a little, little bit of leverage and a nice, uh, nice breaker bar, not breaker bar, but whatever the hell this thing is. My brain isn't working right now. Um, and I just managed to kind of get it angled in and beat it the rest of the way with this uh, rubber mallet. So it wasn't too bad off, just, uh, just needed some gentle coercion. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you next time.